Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today uh, we are going to go over um, the latest build of Project um, Asphalt. And um, today uh, you will actually be able to um, download and play around with the, the game. Uh, I'll leave a link in the um, in the description below and you can download and uh, play around with it. But um, we'll kind of go over uh, all the new changes that we um, did in the last week or so and I'll talk a little bit about what we're uh, struggling with, uh, what we hope to achieve here in the next week or two and um, kind of go from there. So. Um, but anyways, yeah, for those that um, would like, you can uh, actually download and install and play. Um, I'm going to go off of the, um, the file that you'll get as well, so that way everyone's on the same page. Um, but yeah, just uh, open up the folder. Once you unzip it, uh, there will be a, a little EXE in there. It's called Project Asphalt Game. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll get a splash page, and then uh, right from there you'll be in the game. So um, this is the brand new, we got a little welcome screen now to kind of welcome people that are new to the project, um, kind of get them on board, just click next. And um, this is going to be where we're going to put all our build notes. So uh, what we've recently added, what we uh, hope to um, achieve here or we're currently working on right now, and then uh, things that we're looking into maybe in the future. And then um, you can, like I said, check everything at Mac3dart.com and uh, you know you can kind of give us feedback that way or you can just leave a comment at the bottom of the video. That works too. Um, and then these are the controls. Uh, right now, uh, just um, keyboard and mouse. Uh, we're thinking about um, implementing uh, controls for uh, controller, but uh, still kind of working on that right now. Oh, got a little Facebook thing. And then uh, go ahead and click next. Um, okay, so right away you're going to notice that we have um, a little splash screen um, for the uh, main menu. Uh, we've got also a little um, watermark here and our logo uh, on the bottom and uh, these cannot go away. These are part of the, the whole game now. Um, that way people can't just you know uh, take the game and, and try to claim it as theirs. And then um, uh, we've got new uh, buttons now too. We chose new font and everything. Um, people really disliked the, the older font so changed everything up. Um, options now is a little bit different. Controls are here for the keyboard and mouse just in case you missed it and uh, click next on accident. Uh, still adding sound uh, options right now and then uh, resolution for those that have uh, a bigger or smaller monitor you can actually uh, choose different resolutions and um, kind of go from there. Uh, we'll do uh, uh, 19 uh, 20 by 1080 just so you can get a full screen experience here <laughs> uh, but we'll go back and um, go ahead and click uh, start here so uh, right away you'll notice that we've got a, a completely new environment um, we uh, looked at what we had uh, last time and we're pretty uh, you know not impressed with it so we decided to give it a much cleaner and uh, brighter look and uh, this is what we came up with um, and if you uh, like the older look or you uh, like the newer look uh, please let us know um, in the like I said in the comments below and uh, give us feedback on that but so far this is what we came up with um, completely new uh, assets um, brand new level like I said um, car still the same though <laughs> But um, yeah, so uh, WASD uh, to help move around the environment, um, still click and drag, move around rotation uh, for the camera. Um, still no collision, I'm still trying to figure out how collision works with the camera. Um, we've got uh, collision boxes all around, uh, yet the b camera still wants to go through. So still trying to figure that out. Um, if you have any advice, please let me know. Um, and then, you know, uh, mouse uh, zooms in and out. Um, but yeah, and now uh, when you click on the car, uh, we had a lot of feedback from people. They didn't like the other paint buttons, so we created uh, 
a lot more uh, different buttons for you to choose from. Um, actually, these are all um, in-game uh, screen grabs from uh, the materials. So you, they're the actual color of the car when you click on them. Um, we also added about 16 new colors for you to choose from. So we had people say they were, weren't very happy with how limited they were with um, how many different paints there were. So we added a whole bunch more. Uh, we're actually adding in uh, uh, metallic looks now and working on matte finishes. Um, that way you can have all sorts of different kinds of paints for the car. And then um, as you can see you can choose all sorts of different kinds. Um, ooh, that's cool. cool. I'll keep that. Um, and then um, if you want to exit out, you just click on the little X right there. Um, and then uh, this one right here uh, is going to be for the rims. We're currently working on uh, swapping out rims right now. Um, and then these are for neon lights. Uh, one thing we want to add is the ability for the light to uh, display underneath the car, but at the moment we just kind of have like these uh, illum uh, illuminating uh, materials that uh, illuminate the neon lights. So you can actually choose all sorts of different colors and stuff. As you can see, uh, I'll try to get a better look. Ooh, that's pretty bright. <laughs> Let's go right there. So yeah, you can see changes different colors underneath the car. Um, and then exit out of this. And then um, another thing too uh, that we are currently working on right now is um, a swap system. So basically uh, you click on um, the hood and then you will get a bunch of different um, choices of hoods to choose from and then um, it'll just swap that part out. Uh, right now we've only got it so you can actually destroy the hood. So we're still trying to figure out how it all works. but. Um, I'm sure within the next week or so we'll have uh, everything up and running uh, completely. But uh, if you're watching this and you have some advice, um, please do. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, basically click on a button and it will um, swap out for whatever hood that button is. So like you'll have a like you'll click on this and then kind of like the neon lights and you'll have a bunch of different hoods to choose from and depending on what one you click on that's the one that will be placed right there destroying the older hood that's there currently you know so still kind of trying to figure this out but um we're hopefully going to have something up and running uh, like i said probably within the next week or so but um, yeah, that's that's it for right now. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you the current progress that we made in the last week. Um, I I think with uh, how much stuff we got done here, I I don't know, probably a lot of stuff got. <laughs> I I think there's a lot to be uh, excited for and stuff. And I think once this is done, I think we'll have a really cool project. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, if you have any input, please let me know at the. Um, at the comments down below and um, I'll, I'll post another video next week uh, to show you how things are looking and hopefully we'll have uh, almost a complete game here done within the next uh, I'd say half a month so uh, guys thank you so much for watching and take care